Hey guys, today is going to be quite a busy day. I just picked up some argon. My 20 liter bottle was empty after three or three and a half months. A friend of mine is coming with two Miatas and he wants one engine in the other car and the other way around. So we're going to swap, yeah, we're literally going to swap the engines from one car to the other car. One is supercharged and one is NA. Daily. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. But I was going to talk about the 2J. A lot of you keep asking when will the 2J be done, and you should be. I just ordered a wiring specialties wiring harness out of the United States, so it should be here within like two weeks, and then we can finally finish it up. And for you new guys, let's take a look under the bonnet. Let's take a look at this beauty. Yeah, this is epic, guys. Volvo 940 with a 2J in there. As you can see right now, the ECU is here and the wiring is kind of, yeah, it doesn't look really good, but it will be sorted out. Like I said, I ordered a custom wiring harness, so all the connectors are brand spank new. I am working on it, it will be done, but I have so many projects. The S13 is on the other side, and the 940 here, another 940, the V70, and I have another car. Way too much. <laughs> This is how you transport an engine lift in a Miata. This one is the supercharged version, and this one is the normal version, and we're going to swap them. <laughs> Fits like a glove. So we're like one and a half hours in, and this engine is almost out. We removed the radiator, almost all of the wiring, and after that, only one or two bolts and we can lift it out and that after one and a half hours. After that, this car is going to be outside, then we're going to do the other engine, swap them over and hopefully be done within one day. Two engine swaps. We got the engine out. Now it's time to do the next engine. There's no engine here. And the most common Miata problem, the front main seal. The engine on the second car is out as well. We're running a bit late on the original schedule, but this one's out, so now we can install this engine in here and that one in the car behind us. The downside is that this one turns out to have a piggyback and yeah, they didn't even solder the wiring, they just twisted it in each other. So hopefully we can make both of them work. Let's put some yeah, the juice on there. Alarm. Oh, and now oh, back. let's try to fire it up. The alarm is blocking everything. Yep, it runs. <laughs> so now we're going to finish this one off and then do the other one because they need to drive like two hours two back hours. home. But yeah, the first car runs. Great news. As you guys can see, it's almost one o'clock midnight. But both cars are finished, so that's absolutely great. Now, they need to drive home like two hours, so hopefully the cars will work perfectly. This car actually needs a piggyback, um, and they are going to do it another time, so they need to drive gently with it. Only half throttle, and it should be fine, since this thing is very low boost. Now I'm going to sleep, and tomorrow I'm going to do some work on the manifolds, which will also be in this video. It's the next day and I've been doing some work for the Miata turbo manifolds which I'm going to make and eventually sell. I'm almost done with my first prototype and let's take a look at how it looks. So this is a lock manifold but then with a lot better flow. Now I got this one tacked up to mark the inside where I need to cut the tubing out. As you can see here it's completely empty and here is some tubing in the way. And the welds on this thing, I really like welding this thick material. 
because the welds look pretty good. The manifold is almost finished. Now I need to do some flow management. I need to grind the inside, that way it's completely smooth. No edges in there. I want people to get some good power with this manifold. So next time I'm going to do the flow and weld it to the flange. That's why there's a cylinder head here as a heatsink, which should work perfectly. But for now, this was it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment below, and of course, make sure to subscribe. Bye.